friends, I'm Nadine Brandis, the author of Fox and the Out of Time series, but that's not important today because today I get to unbox my Lit Joy Crate, my magical edition Lit Joy Crate that is based off of Harry Potter book four, which is my favorite. Ah! Whew, got a little lightheaded there. I have had this box in my possession for too long. And I am finally, finally unboxing it for you! Because I wanted to share all of the goodies because I've been waiting a year. Woo! Is that a spider? No, that's just a piece of dust. Sorry. I saw when they were doing their magical edition boxes way back with the early books and I was thinking when they come out with book four, I know that I have to have it because book four is my favorite, Goblet of Fire. So I have held off until I could film unboxing this for you because I don't know about you, but even when I wasn't getting the magical edition boxes, I was always really curious about what was inside. Also, it's just really fun to share the Harry Potter nerd with each other. So hopefully if you're watching this, you're a nerd, and if you're not a nerd, maybe you will be by the end of this video. Okay, let's get to it. Aloha, Mora. Woo! I'm so excited. <laughs> I need to put my wand somewhere safe so that I don't burn off an important body part. Mm, look at all of this. The magical edition crate. The International Confederation of Wizards Quidditch Committee presents the Magical Edition Crate Year 4. I love the artwork so much! Oh, okay. Mad-Eye Moody's Eye! At first I thought maybe this was a candy, but I think it's like a sticker thing. All of the crinkle stuff! Look at all of this! Ah! Ooh! A Potter Stinks badge! Except if I click it, it doesn't turn into... What was the other one? What did it say, like, when you click it? I can't remember. I need to reread it. Am I even a true fan? Next up. Ooh. Ooh. A spew pin! Society of the Promotion of Elfish Welfare! Look at it, it's so shiny and sparkly! This feels really heavy. Should I open it now or should I wait? I'll open it now. Why should I wait? I've been waiting forever already. Hey, my phone went off. I forgot to silence that. That's cool. Good job, Nadine. It's very velvety. Aloha, Mora! Ta-da! <gasps> I think it's like a galleon! Ooh, Hungarian horn tail! I'm gonna pretend this is a galleon with a Hungarian horn tail on it. <gasps> How cool! It's like drawing the dragon out of the bag! Ma! Next is something bigger! What could it be? Is it a house? A house flag? A triwizard? Is it a blanket? Is it a scarf? Is it a pillowcase? It is a, I think it's a flag. Whoa, whoa. It's, oh my gosh, it's the, the scandal. Ah! It's the scandalous mermaid. Ooh. <coughs> I'm back, everything's fine guys, everything is fine. I see socks. <gasps> they don't match. They're Dobby socks. Oh, this one has golden snitches on it and this one has brooms. Little brooms. Oh, Dobby. <gasps> it's a bath bomb shaped like a golden egg. Put it in the water and all your dreams come true. Satsuma guava bath bomb with a clue inside. <gasps> Oh my gosh! This is really cool. I have yet to use a bath bomb. I get them in several of my book subscription boxes and then it's like I save them up because I want it to be this magical moment. But I rarely take baths and it's summer and it's like a thousand degrees out. So I'm gonna use this when I get to that part in the book because I'm rereading the book right now. Who designed this? Fairy Tale Bath Company. I will put all of the links down in the description below for who made what. <gasps> ah, this is Gillyweed! This is so cool! This is by Whiskey Diamond Candle, who I love. Is it a candle? <gasps> I always love their candles. Oh my gosh, it's a candle! Look! There's a wick! There's like little green thingy. It looks like slimy and gross, which I love because it's totally capturing the feel of Gillyweed. And it smells really good. <gasps> 
Oh my goodness, it smells so fresh. I want a big candle of this. Garden herbs, green roots, and wet earth. That is exactly what it smells like, but like not dirty. This is so cute! That one's a favorite. <gasps> Another thing! Got the coffee cup on it. Or is that the Goblet of Fire? Nope, okay, phew. I would have felt really stupid. Oh wait, <laughs> it is the Goblet of Fire. Now I feel stupid. You're welcome. I think it is a book sleeve. It comes with a little bookmark, like a little goblet bookmark. This is so cute. It is a book sleeve. And it has a little pouch for other things like bookmarks. I like it because the book sleeve isn't too thick. It's actually kind of a thinner one, but it'll still protect the book, but it'll fit better in my luggage. And it's Goblet of Fire! <gasps> Does it fit? <sighs> yeah, it fits! This is so cool! Next up, we have some adorable little magnetic bookmarks of Rita Skeeter, Winky the House Elf. We never see Winky stuff. I so appreciate all of the bookish fandom things that are in here that aren't in the movie. And then poor Ron in his hideous robes. <gasps> These are car character cards! <gasps> Harry Potter, Fleur de la Cour, Cedric Diggory looking all like suave and regal and honorable, and Victor Crumb with a snitch. I love how moody he looks. <laughs> Next we have some advertisements for wizarding things like the Blue Bottle and Glad Drags Wizard Wear and the Quidditch World Cup. Ooh, the Bulgaria team roster! And the Ireland team roster. Who were you cheering for, really? Really? Was it Ireland or was it Crumb? <gasps> to the World Cup! It's not just promotional! Admit 1, August 25th, 1994, seating, top box. This is We're getting to the end and I'm sad. Ooh, it's a tattoo. Ooh. <laughs> the dark mark. I mean, it's a cool tattoo. Well, sorry about that, everybody. My camera battery died, so then I went up to change it, and then I looked at the video and I was like, wow, my hair doesn't look as great as it looked when I looked in the mirror before filming this video, so I changed some stuff. Anyway, the dark mark. It's a dark mark tattoo. Very well done. Very cool. Do I want it on my arm? No, because Voldemort might summon me, and I am not on his side. Last item in the box. <laughs> it's a gigantic puzzle! My husband and I put together a puzzle every Christmas. Usually it's the same puzzle that we've had like through our marriage and we usually finish it pretty fast because we do it every year. So we're really good at it. So now we have a new puzzle this Christmas because everybody knows that Christmas time means Harry Potter. So that's that for the magical edition from Lit Joy Crate. I loved all the goodies. I think the one that I'm probably most excited about is the Gillyweed candle and then also the golden egg bath bomb because I really was hoping that there would be something golden eggy in it and there was. And the galleon. The galleon's cool too. <gasps> no, the playing cards. I love it all. And the book sleeve. Thanks for watching this silly unboxing video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that it got you pumped up for Harry Potter, which, by the way, term starts on September 1st, so I hope that you're ready. I'm gonna do something special for the start of Hogwarts term. So with that, Wingardium Leviosa!